This week on the RC Basics, we talk about servos. What is a servo? Well, technically, it's a rotary or linear actuator that allows for precise control of linear or angular positioning. What does that mean in plain English? Well, it's a motorized driven device that receives an electrical signal that converts that into linear or physical motion. Let's just take a closer look. Servos come in many sizes, and here I have a few examples. They start very small and can range up to very large, which I don't actually have an example of. Here's a chart that better lays it out. You can see they range from nano size all the way up to a large size. The nano size being very small, less than eight grams, all the way up to a large, which is larger than 80 grams. With one-tenth scale trucks, we generally use a standard size servo. Even within the standard servo sizes, like these two right here, there's still many variances from whether they have a plastic body, like this one say, or a full metal body, like this one here. Also, they can have plastic gears or metal gears, like this reef has titanium gears. Uh, you can also have a digital servo versus an analog servo. The Spectrum servo is actually digital. I believe the Reef's Triple Four is actually analog. I know the Reef's Triple Five is digital, but I believe this one is analog. The point being, the difference is with a digital servo, it's gonna be much quicker and it's gonna sustain more. Uh, the easiest, or uh, for this discussion, we can say, we'll just leave it at the, the digital servo uh, pulses voltage faster. Um, so it's gonna be a little, it's gonna have a quicker reaction and a faster reaction time than say an analog uh, servo. I've also taken a servo apart for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Now down here in this bottom box, you're gonna have a little small motor along with a uh, circuit board that receives the signal from your receiver and powers or controls rather the, the motor here. You can also see the gears that all lead to your output shaft. There's also many other ratings that can be different like torque, or is it cordless, or is it brushless, et cetera. But that's all for a different discussion. For this RC Basics discussion, I do wanna talk about two more very important aspects of servos that we use in the RC truck world. The first one we're gonna discuss is the splines. So on this output shaft, like I showed you before, whether it's here or on this one, or you can see this one that already has a servo horn on it, there is gonna be a number of teeth and that's your spline. So whether it's 25 tooth or 23 tooth or 24 tooth. In fact, here's a chart of many common splines. You can see they range from 23 to 25 tooth splines. Every manufacturer uses a different spline or number of teeth. So make sure and keep that in mind when you're choosing a servo horn. So the second thing I wanted to discuss is whether your servo is waterproof or water resistance. In fact, on the spectrum, you can see it's got a little water symbol on it that's saying that it's water resistant. Uh, same with the reefs, these are actually all water resistant. I want you to keep in mind that it is water resistant, dust proof, so keep that in mind. Uh, you don't wanna run these necessarily underwater, um, but they will be resistant to water if you go through a stream or whatever that might be. But also keep in mind, because these have seals, so basically between the two gaps, they have a gasket and they'll have a seal here at the output shaft and everything's nice and sealed, they will be dust proof. And that's nice to keep in mind. So whether you're even running in water or not, you might wanna think about this when you purchase your servo, if you're in a lot of dust, uh, a lot of soot, whatever, even if you're not gonna be running in water, probably a good idea to get a water resistant servo to be dust proof. The last thing I wanna talk about are the wires that are sticking out the backside of the servo. You have three wires that are gonna be running to your receiver. And it's important that these wires are orientated correctly in the receiver. So let's talk about what these wires are. So basically you have three wires. The dark wire or the black wire is your ground or negative. The red is your positive. The white is your signal wire. Now you can see sometimes they have different color uh, wires to represent these. So on this one, the brown is your negative, the red is positive, the yellow is the signal wire. Like I said, it's important that these run to your receiver correctly. So this is a very basic discussion on servos, just part of the electronic system within an RC truck. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me this week, guys. Remember, we do this every Friday. We'll do an RC Basics. If you want to keep up, hit that subscription down below. Hey, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you have any comments you'd like to leave on this video or maybe for an upcoming video. And I just always want to say thank you to my Patreons out there. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.